Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Viewers, welcome to another episode of Knowledge TV, a spirit-filled program that takes us to deep understanding of the scripture where the great men and women of God come on board and give you the teaching beyond doctrine for you to understand and boost your faith. Praise the Lord. And boost your faith because without faith, you can get nothing from the Lord. Without faith, you cannot be his sons. Without faith, you cannot even serve the Lord. Without faith, you can't worship the Lord. And what is worship? Worship is service. Praise the Lord. In this program that is featured with salvation, healing, breakthrough, where the men of God will come, open the scripture, give you a deep understanding, a clear understanding of the scripture beyond doctrine. You can't serve God without understanding him. Your faith draws you close to the Lord. Hallelujah. In this program, this is what you'll be learning. This is what you'll be gaining. It will boost your faith. It will move you close to God. Praise the Lord. Without God, we are nobody. Sometimes we serve God with our understanding, kind of understanding, and we offend him more. Praise the Lord. When you have deep understanding on God, you'll be able to follow him, understanding on how to pray and how to communicate with God and move close to God. Hallelujah. So this is what the program is all about. As you've been listening to great men and women of God, I pray that God will grant you the spirit of understanding, the depth of understanding, and how you should follow him in the name of Jesus. Right now, a great minister of God will be ministering, and I'll be right back after the message. Stay blessed as you watch and listen to the teachings in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. is Pastor Lucio Coro. Welcome all of you today in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk, uh, thank God for bringing me here today to give you the word of God today. I know as you listen, God will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm here in the TV to preach God's word to you. Before I go to the world, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for bringing us today to listen to your word. The great teacher, come and teach us again. People listening to his word of God today, there will be a change in their lives in the name of Jesus. Hear them through the word. Let there be revival through the word. Let there be something new in their life so that their life will become a complete different to the old ones they used to live in the name of Jesus. Thank you for it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we are talking about the end time. In the end time, I talk about the doctrine of the devil, the end time. That will take us to the book of 1 Timothy chapter number 4 from verse 1 to verse 3 says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the end times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to the seducing spirit and doctrine of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisies, having their conscience sealed with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believed and know the truth. We are talking about the doctrine of the devil. In the end time, end time starts from the cross till Christ's second coming. It is known as the end of the age. It is also known as what? The last days. Also known as the perilous time. The time when men do anything they like. We are in the end time. We are in the end of the age. We are in the last days when people are doing anything they like. He said that in this end time, previous time shall come when men shall begin to do anyhow they like. Men will love themselves. Men forbidden to marry. Men will be seducing other people. There will be what? What is called hypocrisies. If you come to the church of God today, you find out that many people today are what behaving the same way. You people will not be original again. He said in the end time, there will be different, different characters that is happening. And in this end time today is a time that Christ warned us we should be careful so that the church of God will not be taken on our ways. It's a time that brother or sister is no longer the brother they used to be. 
they are now behaving like the people in the world. You can no longer because between people in the world and people that are watched of God. They are all the same thing. It's a time that there are betrayers here and there in the church of God. They are what? Betraying one another in the society. Betraying one another. It is end time. Is there a time that you hear about rumors of war? You talk about what wars here and there. You talk about things happen negatively. It is end time. Is there a time that people kill themselves? In our country today, you are hearing about death, death, death. You hear about people entering into churches today to kill people. It is end time. It's a time that people stand on the pulpit to speak lies in hypocrisies. They will tell you what God did not say. It is end time. It's a time that iniquity has abound in the society in church of God. Many people love have begun to do what? Go cold every day. And this is the time that we that are born again Christians should be able to stand firm and say, Lord Jesus, no matter whatsoever happened to us, we will stand for you. Praise God. It's a time also that men no longer behave like men. Men behave like they are women. Women behave like they are men. In the houses today, you see women disobeying their husband. Husband also behave as if they are not married. You come to the church of God, you find out that the members disobey their pastors. The pastor should remember as if they are not members again. You come also in the houses, children disobey their parents anyhow because we are in the end time. This is only the time we need to embrace the gospel. We need to embrace God's word. We need to walk according to the word of God. If we must be able to overcome this particular season, it's a time that people are no longer ready to hear about truth of God's word. They want to hear about devil doctrine. I'm treating today. Devil says that you are blessed, and they say yes, they are blessed. Without them being able to do what to walk according to God's word, they say the devil. They believe them more than God's word. It's a time that devil tell them that when once you give people like uh, uh, one hand nearer, you get to that they believe it. That's not of the devil. It's a time that they no longer want to hear the truth. They replace God's truth with what is not God's truth, and they believe it. It's a time that they enter into different different things different different things and they believe it's the truth come now i remember that when we were younger like this when people are ministering in the word of god when people are pushing sound doctrine people begin to share joyful uh, uh, begin to share tears of joy when the word of god hit them they begin to what they begin to speak in songs when god's word hit, but today is no longer a game because we are in the end time it's a time that no longer truth everywhere bible said that Men speak lies in what hypocrisies. There are many hypocrisies today going on in the gospel of God to them. Many people did not want to hear the truth when it comes to the way people dresses today. No difference between people in the world and those in the church. They call it what end time. No thing like different between a born again and unborn again. That's end time. This is a time that we need to come back to ourselves and ask ourselves a question. Am I really working according to God's word? Am I really sure that what I'm doing is right? If Jesus should come today, am I sure I'm going to make heaven? If Christ should come today, am I sure you're going to tell me well done? This is a time that prophetic utterances today is no longer correct. They are not doing it in order to feed their belly. No longer to do God's work again. They will tell you what God did not say. It is not genuine. It is not properly. This is a time that people believe that when you are doing God's work, you must be well prosperous. If you prosperous, means that you are God not called. That's not true. Yes, when you are doing God's work, God will bless the work of your hand. That does not mean if you did not have much like that, that God not called you. God still call you. It's a time that we need to sit back together and ask ourselves questions. How am I impacting my community? How am I impacting people around me? How am I impacting the society? How is my Christianity now in, uh, uh, making people to celebrate Christ? Am I talking positively or negatively? How is my life affecting the, my neighbors around me? Let, let me make today, well, once you are born again Christian, your life shall be what? Full of celebration. Life shall be full of joy. When people see this, you able to see God's glory that along your life. They are able to see God's mercy upon your life. People should know that you are not wasting your time by serving God, but you are doing the right thing, and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And he said again in that particular place also, the Spirit of God is telling us that we should be careful in whatever we are doing. 
We should be careful in speaking to our expressly. We are not like the people who do not believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the second coming of Christ. So we should be careful in the type of friends we are keeping. We should be careful in the type of environment we find ourselves. We should be careful in the way we are dealing with people that are surrounding us. People are, some of them came to do what? To bring us down. But how did you, as a Christian, live your life to please God in that particular situation? Are you going to succumb to their pressure? Would they tell you that it does not matter? It matters a lot in this end time. And Bible said that we should be careful in everything we are doing. And it says again, that particular place again, that people should no longer believe the density of God's word. God's word still remains the same. God's word did never change. It's still the same Alpha and Omega. The God that was before and is still the one that will come to the end of the one. Jesus said, I am yesterday, today, and forever. Not only for today alone. So in this end time, don't forget that the same Jesus that came and died is still the same guy going to come, out, come back here again second time. So don't forget that he is still alive. He did not die like the people of the world die and die forever. He's still alive. He says that if we can be able to embrace him in this end time, if you can be able to walk with him in this end time, your life will be a testimony in the name of Jesus. Don't allow what you are seeing now to wear your faith down. Don't allow because you do not see food to eat, or because you do not see product, uh, cloth to wear, or because you don't have your own house, make you to wear, to bring your faith down. No, 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 no. You are going to survive without all those things. But Jesus says that when you call upon him, he will not fail you in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't believe in the lies. Of the devil but always to walk according to god's pattern in your life in the name of jesus christ and it says again in that particular place also don't allow your faith to be shaken because this is a time many people faith are being what shaking them our faith many people faith today is not the way it used to be they will ask themselves since i started serving god up to today what have i gained you've gone you've gained a lot that you still stand up to today means that you gain a lot of things. Those people that pass lead it, and you are still standing. You are not the same. So you gain many things. You have been able to affect so many souls. So don't allow the people of the world to drag you to themselves. Yes, you are what a child of God. This is a time that your faith is being challenged all around. And I know that as you begin to walk strongly, as you begin to walk according to God's word in your life, your faith will never go down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it says in that particular place also that our conscience will never be seared like the conscience of those that have been said with the hot iron. Whatever you are preaching to them will never make impact in them because already they have decided how to live their life. But today, as you decide to live your life with Jesus Christ, your life will always bring testimonies and there will be what celebration of victory in the mighty name of jesus jesus said to you don't allow what you are seeing through what i want to do to affect your faith don't allow things around to affect your faith keep on moving forward keep on marching forward don't allow people to drag you down as you do so today the lord will bless you immensely in the name of jesus shall we pray father thank you for the word that's come that for today lord People are listening to this word of God, Daddy. I pray the Lord, don't allow anybody's faith to be shaken in the name of Jesus Christ. In this end time, oh God, today, uphold them and let there be new things that will give them more grace to forge ahead in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for I know that it's done already. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you because I know that this is just the beginning of the end time series. As you follow us next session, the Lord will bless you and make you become rich in him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome back. That is how far we can go today. I hope you are blessed by the message you had. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we believe that God has used this message and transformed your life and increased your knowledge and increased your understanding on how to follow him. Hallelujah. May his name be highly exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right. For more of these messages, you want the message 
to get across to you. You can contact us on the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen right now, or you want us to send it via email. Our email is inetmtv at gmail.com. Or you follow us on our Facebook platform, inetmtv. Like our page to get more of our messages. You can also get our messages on YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, Inet MTV. Don't hesitate to subscribe. Subscription is free on the YouTube. Just subscribe so that every new message we can send it to you. Send message to us on our WhatsApp number. We can now teach you or direct you on how to get our messages. God will bless you. So until next time. See you. My name is Reverend Emmanuel Inya. God bless you.